Hi Gemini, this reading is for you if you just recently broke up with somebody or had a fallout with your significant other. I'll do three spreads. The situation spread, whom you're dealing with, who left whom and why. The advice spread, what's recommended for you in this situation. And though I'll do the new love in the near future spread. We'll see who is coming towards you. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. Here's the first out of three spreads, Gemini, the situation. Uh, we have the Tower clarified by the Ace of Swords, we have the Five of Swords clarified by the Seven of Wands, we have the Nine of Wands, and we also have the Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. We have a lot of Swords and a lot of Wands, and the Tower. You know what it looks like to me, Gemini? It looks like an, um, an enormous fight, like a huge explosion. It's like somebody couldn't take it anymore or somebody just boiled it something just boiled over it was an explosion right even your neighbors heard the two of you fighting that night or that day that's what it looks like and it's like that was it that was perhaps you were fighting for a while or perhaps it was just that one fight that brought it all down crushing down now that that's what it feels like it feels like a huge fight an ugly fight and at the end of the fight somebody slammed the door on the way out okay it could have been you it could have been them I don't know you can always leave me a comment let me know what actually happened if it's not too personal but this this right here is definitely an, a, 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 somebody just got pissed off and that was it somebody had enough perhaps it could have been you perhaps you were um, you know taking all this crap from this person for a while but then at some point you said you know what um, I was born to not take crap from other people and you're like that's it I'm done alright so the tower with the five of swords those two cards right next to each other the tower is clarified by the ace of swords and the, the five of swords clarified by the seven of wands all those four cards are talking about the same thing an ugly fight right the tower is just a light strike in the middle of a clear day. The Five of Swords is a card of a fight, an ugly fight. By the way, the Five of Swords is also a card of a fight uh, when people fight and they want to win at any cost. Um, this is also a card of a Pyrrhic victory. You can look it up what Pyrrhic victory means, right? And um, yeah, as a result of that, that's it, it's done. The Nine of Wands right next to the deck is a card of a wooden warrior. And the Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of somebody who is crying at night, somebody who is stressed out, somebody who is depressed. It could be you, it could be them, it could be both of you. Perhaps the two of you just took it too far. And now both of you are just regretting, now both of you realize that you flew off the handle. Um, I don't know. I don't know what exactly happened, but again, for the tenth time, I see this as, an, as a huge fight. A huge fight that even your neighbors heard. Alright, so let's take a look at uh, spread number two, the advice spread. Here's the advice for you, Gemini. This is from your perspective. This is what you need to do or at least take into consideration. We have the Five of Pentacles clarified by the Tower. We have the Moon clarified by the Queen of Swords. We have the Three of Wands clarified by the Magician. And we also have the Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Pisces or perhaps a fellow air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. Well, this spread right here, um, the first four cards on the left and the Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck, those five cards are talking about the same thing. Somebody who is still trying to recover, somebody who is perhaps in disbelief of what just, about what just happened, you know, it's, it's, it was just, it was like an earthquake. That's what it kind of feels like. Perhaps you had your uh, hopes set really high for this person or you did not expect this person to blow up or you did not expect it to just all, all of a sudden go down the toilet. That's what it feels like. It was like a major shock for you. The Five of Pentacles, the first card I came out, this is a card of somebody feeling left out in the cold, somebody feeling miserable, somebody feeling lonely. It's clarified by the Tower. The Tower is a repeat card. This is what happened. That uh, earthquake, everything coming crashing down to the ground, that fight, right? Um, the Moon clarifying, clarified by the Queen of Swords, that's prob probably how you feel right now. The Moon is all about fears, the Moon is one of the most emotional cards in the deck and uh, the fact that it's sitting right next to the Five of Pentacles and the Tower, that means you're feeling kind of 
bad about what happened. You know, you're very emotional and that's totally understandable. The Queen of Swords, that's probably you, right? Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Well, say so you have the Five of Cups on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. This is a card of regret and grief. So yes, you are grieving what uh, you, you guys used to have. And the three of ones with the magician, I think this is the uh, advice right there. Make future plans, manifest something new. I don't see this person trying to come back to you. I don't see you trying to get back together with them. Not in the foreseeable future, right? So for now, I think for you, I think it's time for you to move on, Jamin. I know it's easier said than done. I, I do see you still being shocked, shocked, right? But for now, I think it's going to be better to um, put something into that vacuum, right? Not the vacuum we use for cleaning, but the empty space, right? And uh, we, we just fill it with new things. Go out, spend time with friends, go watch a movie, go take a walk in the park, anything. Get out there, go to a party, make future plans. The three of ones, you see how that person had their back turned to the past and they're looking into the future. And the magician clarifying is manifesting something new. And uh, the thing about the magician, it's not only all about manifestation, this is a card of action. So yeah, I think it's going to be easier or better for you to uh, move on, or try to move on. You know, call a friend, ask for help. Don't just spend time on your own, because it will only make it worse for you, Gemini. Alright, so yeah, that's what I have here so far. Um, let's take a look at spread number three. Spread number three is a new love coming towards you in the near future. All right, so here's spread number three, Gemini. This is new love coming towards you in the near future. We have the King of Wands clarified by the Page of Wands. We have the Ace of Pentacles clarified by the Ace of Cups. We have the Two of Cups clarified by the Chariot. And we have the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a uh, Cancer, or pretty much any Zodiac sign. Wow, what a turnaround. What a change, Gemini. I did not see this coming. The next person coming into your life, uh, it's your soulmate, and you guys make a perfect couple. You're a perfect match. It's like you're two partners in crime. Um, such a change. Remember the first two spreads? Even the color of those two, in the cards of those two spreads, were kind of dark and grim. Look at the color of these cards. Bright, shiny, happy. <laughs> and that's how you're going to be. Very happy with this person. You are the king and the queen of ones, right? That's how you guys come through. Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but whenever the king and the queen of wands come out in the same spread, that means you guys make a perfect match. It's like two partners in crime. You're going to be very enthusiastic. You're going to be easy to get up and go. You'll be going different places. You'll be doing different things, and you'll be on the same page, right? So much excitement. It's like a fresh, uh, a breath of fresh air. Right? So the King of Wands, the first guy that came out, I'll assume you're the Queen of Wands, but for the reading's sake, I'll assume you're the Queen of Wands, but uh, you can assign the roles as you wish. So the King of Wands uh, is cl clarified by the Page of Wands. This is a message. I would have been a little more concerned about the Page of Wands, right? Because the Page of Wands could be uh, somebody flirting with you, they could still be flirting with you, but and it could be all about just getting busy behind closed doors, but since it's clarifying the King of Wands, it is either a fire sign coming into your life, or, um, you know, there it's going to be something... Um, you will have a lot of things in common, that's what I'm trying to say. So perhaps you will meet on a hiking um, trip, or you'll meet at some place you usually go to, something you're interested in, right? And uh, they are going to be interested in the same thing. And with the page of ones, this is the, this is how they're going to connect with you because you have something in common, right? And uh, you will have more just more than just that one thing in common. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. You will quickly realize that you guys make a perfect couple. The next card I came out is the Ace of Pentacles and it's clarified by the Ace of Cups. That's mind-boggling right there. So we're moving from the page to two aces. One ace clarifying another ace. Um, this barely ever happens, right? When you have two aces in the same spread, that's rare. When you have one ace clarifying another ace, that 
almost never happens. This is crazy. This is crazy good. The Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal, um, but in this case, the Ace of Pentacles is all about uh, long term, right? This person will see you as uh, their lifetime partner right away, right, on the first date. And the Ace of Cups is all about genuine, authentic love. So one Ace clarified and another Ace, that's crazy. And the Two of Cups clarified by the Chariot, that's even crazier. <laughs> well, on the crazy level, it's about the same, same level, right? The Two of Cups is a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of two people feeling the same way towards each other. So I do believe you will connect right away with this person. The Chariot clarifying it is a... As a is the Cancer card, you could be dealing with a Cancer, or the Chariot is a card of victory, this is a card of triumph, and uh, this is also a card of going someplace, perhaps you'll go travel the world together or travel someplace close, I don't know. The Chariot could also be a car, you know, perhaps, um, you know, you'll get into a car, you, or you could meet this person at a car setting, perhaps you're into cars, they're into cars, you know, something like that. But the Chariot is all about moving forward, that's its general meaning to me personally it's all about moving forward feeling victorious about it and not looking back and that's exactly what i was picking up on during the uh, previous spread and that's what i believe i suggested to you just turn your back to the past and uh, make future plans manifest somebody into your life manifest something nice good loving warm fuzzy cuddly <laughs> whatever manifest a partner in crime and you'll you'll ask and you shall receive gemini Alright, so yeah, that's what I got for you for this reading. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Gemini, have an amazing May. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you. And if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.